What's going on guys? I am here about to take a look at this Integra Class A diesel pusher, tag axle. This thing is probably the nicest Class A that I've looked at so far. So let's walk up into this one and take a look at it. First of all, one thing you see right off the bat is just how fancy and luxurious this looks. So this is a Class A diesel pusher. This thing is huge. Lots of really nice leather, really nice accents, cabinetry, wood trim. Everything in this coach just screams luxury. This is kind of the definition of what people think of when they think of motor coach. Huge kitchen area, lots of countertop, plus the ability to expand countertop out, theater style seating. Has a control panel right here. Gives you all of your information, ability to control lighting, awnings, shades, everything. Unit does have a half bath and a good size one too. Plus this huge door to close off the master bedroom area. And then when it's open, you have this massive walkway just to get through here. Lots of slides, so you have a tremendous amount of room here in the master suite, as well as lots of shelves cabinetry but take a look at this bathroom double vanity lots of room look at that shower it is huge this is a full-size residential shower all tiled out and working your way to the back look at this walk-in closet these things are nice they are very expensive I don't really see myself as a Class A diesel pusher owner like this. I mean, this is a really, really great rig for people who are going to be traveling all the time. They're going to be towing a vehicle around. They're going to travel all over the country, and they really just want an entire home to go with them. Oftentimes, this is the type of coach you might exchange your home for. Just a beautiful coach. What's going on guys? So I am here at the Winnebago booth at the RVX show in Salt Lake City and we are about to take a look at a very very innovative design of Class A. Now this specific motorhome is set up for wheelchair accessibility. I'm here with Jamie Sorensen from Winnebago. How are you doing today my friend? Good, how are you JD? I'm doing very well. Good. So if you could, could you kind of I guess talk to my subscribers about the mentality behind this specific unit and who you're trying to appeal to. Sure, yeah, so so this is our accessibility enhanced uh, uh, Forza. Uh, and we offer three different standardized floor plans. Uh, we offer an entry level intent, which is a class A gas. Uh, we offer a mid tier, which is an adventurer. And then we offer our, our higher end, which is the rear engine diesel Forza that you see here today. Um, we've been doing uh, handicap accessible or customized uh, for uh, mobility uh, for almost 40 years at Winnebago, but we've been doing it on a custom basis. So it's been a uh, customer calls in or contacts their dealer, and then we work with them to design their coach uh, specifically for them. Uh, so we leverage that, uh, that 40 years of voice of customer into creating a standardized floor plan that we can get onto dealers' lots because we found a, a, a segment of the population that, that wants to be able to go into a dealership, uh, have that experience uh, that of, of touching and feeling and driving the vehicle, you know, getting, getting that, uh, that, that personalized experience at the dealer level that they've never been able to get. Well, especially if you're mobility limited, right? If you have a wheelchair... And if you're only looking at the specs online or over a video, it really doesn't let you know how comfortable you'll feel looking at a system like this and using a coach. So if you could kind of walk us through what we're looking at here and sure. let's see uh, let's see what it's all about. Yeah, so so the first thing you're gonna notice is obviously the wheelchair lift and the roll-up door. I mean that's the that's the G whiz factor when you when you walk up to the vehicle. So I'll give you a demonstration on how the wheelchair lift operates. Okay. So wheelchair lift is very simple. Uh, you've got up and down and fold and unfold. So we run the wheelchair lift up. And the wheelchair lift is capable of lifting 800 pounds. Once it gets up to floor level of the coach, the rear ramp will drop down. And then the person can roll off and get into the coach. And then to store it, we simply fold it up. And then the roll-up door either comes down with a switch on the inside, or we can do it with an optional key fob. Oh, wow. That is very nice. Let's step into this coach and take a look at it. Sure. If you want, I can give you a demonstration of the door. Yeah, please. Outside. 
That is very convenient. Yeah. Very clean looking too. So on All the right. interior of the coach, uh, we've got a several modifications that we do on the interior of the coach to make it more accessible for somebody in a wheelchair. Uh, so the first one you'll notice is we've got uh, a step well cover. The step well cover drops down so that you don't have to worry about uh, if you're using a chair or a walker inside the vehicle, don't have to worry about that step well. That's great. Next thing you'll notice is the dinette. The dinette is set up so that you've got an extendable dinette. Remove the leaf. Now it looks like a standard dinette. With the leaf in, now it's accessible from a chair. So you can roll the chair underneath the dinette. Very nice. We modify the galley, so the galley is about 12 inches shorter than standard, so that we can maximize the aisle width through here. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of room to move around. Yeah, we're about 35 inches of clearance in the, in the Forza. Uh, the hallway is just a little bit wider than the standard Forza. Um, another one of the features we do is we lower the controls. So we'll actually move these controls that were normally located up here at eye level when you're standing. We drop those down about 12 inches so they're accessible from a, a seated position or from standing. And then the shower is obviously a big feature. Um, it's a roll-in shower, uh, no threshold. Definitely. This is... A lot of thought's been put into this, yeah. and I think that's the key, because if you're in a scenario where you are limited in mobility and you're in a wheelchair, you want to know that a lot of thought was put into design, and I can see that you guys really have put a lot of thought into how do you maneuver through, how do you make life easier for someone who wants to be in an RV on the road at RV parks, but might require a wheelchair. Exactly, right, exactly. You know, it's the, it's the freedom of travel that we're, that we're able to offer uh, our, our customers that we've been doing business with for 40 years, uh, but now we're bringing it to a, uh, you know, more of a mass population that people that can get in and, and get to these dealers and, and be able to, to ride around in them, try them out. Um, so the last feature I'm gonna show you is our bed. So in the standard Forza, uh, the bed is in the center. Um, and then we've got the end tables on either side, but very narrow aisleways. So we move the bed all the way over to the driver's side so that we've got 32 inches of clearance in between yeah. the bed. So you can get a chair in here to transfer in and out of the bed. And if you, let's say the person who might be with the person who's mobility limited, they can easily walk around the backside here and get on the bed as well. Correct. So you have a lot of room behind the bed. Yep. This is very nice. Thank you. You know, one thing that's really nice about this ramp is, even though it's designed specifically for a wheelchair access, it doesn't mean that's the only thing you have to use it for, right? There Absolutely. could be, you might bring a Segway with you, right? and you want to keep it inside. Yeah, power chair, Segway, um, totes full of groceries. <laughs> yeah, it's just a much easier way to load up, and there are people that do suffer from the inability to lift everything into the coach as easily as they would like. And this is just a very, very great way to transfer whatever you want into your coach from outside. Very clean look, and it doesn't really take up any room here when you're done. You could even have maybe a disconnected chair that you put here to kind of cover the area when you're not using it. Overall, though, it is a brilliant design, and it integrates very well into the whole function of this RV. Thanks. You did a great job setting this thing up. Thanks again, Jamie. I appreciate your time. JD, is a pleasure. Thank you. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we will talk to you again very soon.